video i'm going to give a very quick introduction to solidity and uh, remix id so solidity is the language in which smart contracts are written for ethereum and remix is the id is the online id to write solidity so when you open remix.ethereum.org you see something like this and here i can see solidity plugin is uh, checked so i want to work with remix in solidity only and here we see contract scripts and tests so let's get into one of these contract files so this is what a typical solidity file looks like initially there is like a, a licensing identifier uh, which basically remains the same then you have to write pragma solidity and followed by uh, whatever is the version so you can specify one single version or you can specify a range of version for which your solidity compiler will support this program so after that the structure is basically uh, you have a contract and you can give the contract a name so in this case the contract is just called storage which what it does is that it simply stores a particular number so this number is of type u in 256 and we have two different functions here so one function stores the number and the other function retrieves the number so and both of these are public which means you can call this outside of the network in which this smart contract gets deployed so instead of public you can also write external and, to, and it will still work once you have written your smart contract in remix the next step is to actually compile it to see if this is correct or not so for compilation there is this one tab here if you go here and choose your compiler version so in this case because my range is point, uh, 0 0.7.0 and 0 0.9.0 and here the compiler selected falls within that range so it should work so if i click on compile here you can see the green tick mark which means it has compiled so next step is to actually deploy it in a network environment so this can be actually ethereum mainnet it can also be like a test net or it can be in this case a virtual machine environment into which you can quickly deploy smart contracts and actually test these things so you can select any of these so i'm just continuing with the default one and here the account means from which account you are actually deploying it so these things become important if there is a concept of ownership so the account which actually deploys a smart contract that can become an owner of a smart contract depending on how it is written and by default here remix provides us with 100 ethers of course these are not actual ethers uh, for these are test ethers but for in our scenario we have you know these accounts loaded with 100 ethers each and here uh, the contract is selected the storage contract so if i click on deploy i can see uh, this contract has gotten deployed so now i can see this deployed contract here and here you can see the contract's name is storage and here it's written at d91 etc so that is the uh, you can actually copy it so this is the address of the contract so at this address in the network the contract resides so here you can see these two things store and retrieve and these are these two functions which we set so because store is set to be public which means anyone can call this so if i store let's say 12 and click on store that means this got executed and as you can see it actually got executed and then we can check if it executed properly or not by calling this retrieve so if i simply click on retrieve i see here it returns me the number 12. if i change it to 21 store then retrieve again i see 21. so this is a very quick introduction to how a skeleton of a solidity program looks like and how actually to use uh, remix id in future i will go over more concepts on solidity programming and more complicated solidity programs